Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And we're going to talk about reducing heavy contacts when the club hits too much ground. Often hits too much ground behind the ball, so it'd be a fat shot. But sometimes, just in generally, the club can actually still strike the ball well. But the contact can be too heavy. We take too much depth of grass. I'm going to give you some ways of fixing this. So what I generally see from students when this particularly happens is they lose height as they come into their swing and they have no space to be able to make good contact. So they've either got to jump out of the shot to make space or sometimes originally when they set up they didn't have enough space to start off with. Let's talk about that. So what I want you to do when you set up to an iron shot, if you do hit shots either heavy or fat, I kind of classify heavy as being almost too, too deep a contact. So you could, honestly, you can hit good golf shots if you take a contact that's too heavy slash deep. Because you could hit the ball first, but then hit too deep. But it's not a long lasting, you know, you're coming in a bit too steep, really. Um, or if that's not the case, you could hit way behind and hit it fat from what we see when the divot gets hit behind the ball and the ball just doesn't go any distance. So at a dress position, I'll often see players who hit the ball a bit heavy or fat get a little bit cramped, a little bit close, a little bit like they've got no space to hit this shot from. And what they do then, as they come into the shot, they've either got to try and create space, as unpredictable as you like, or they end up catching the ground too hard. Sometimes I'll see golfers who do have decent amount of space get to the top of the swing and then with the transfer of energy and the transfer of the rotation, they go really low into the shot and then they've got to try and jump back out of it. Again, really difficult. Really difficult to get any continuity of strike. It's, a lot of this is about getting the sensation of making sure you maintain your height better and concentrate on the, on the quality of the connection as you're coming in to hit the shot. Being very aware of it, even when you're hitting off a practice mat because sometimes a practice mat can hide how deep you're contacting. I'll have guys come down for a lesson and they're hitting off a mat and they'll st absolutely strike one. Whoosh. But the whole bay is shaking because of the contact that was made. Sometimes that gets forgotten about because of the quality of the connection, the quality of the golf shot. The next shot they might hit it fat and go, oh, why, why is it so different? It's probably not. Probably actually not that different. So at a dress, I'd give yourself some space. Feel like you've got the gap between the, the butt end of the golf club and your leg. And I would always advise trying to get your arms to hang naturally down, straight down, and giving yourself this nice kind of, I mean, it's a bit cliche, but like a hand's width worth of space. Don't get it in like really tight and close because you just won't have any space. You'll end up trying to create space and that's when problems start to, take, start to happen. So give yourself this kind of space between you and the club and letting your arms hang naturally. The other bit of advice from this is don't start too kind of low. Because if we start too low, we've either got to jump or we stay low and take contact to hit too far behind or too heavy. So when we get into our setup, we've got this hand. Feel like you're tall. Maximise your height. Whatever height you are, maximise that. Have just a little bit of knee flex. That's it. Done. Don't bend the knees. Just knee flex. Once that knee flex has been taken place then, as you're coming in to hit the shot, I want you to maintain the height. Now, granted, players do dip, they drop, they lose height, fine, and they still hit great shots. But, but it's very minimal. It's not a massive amount. I'm talking when golfers hit heavy or fat, they lose masses amount of height and they can't recover. So maintain your height as you're coming in to hit it with that very minimal knee flex and just get the sensation that you're going to hit the ball very clean off the surface. You're not really going to aim to hit too much of a divot. And I don't know if you can tell by the quality of that strike, it was like just nipped off the surface. They would have been the shallowest divot possible. That would have been just literally just collecting it off the surface. So quick recap, stay tall, give yourself some space. Don't get into this habit. Just a little flex in the knees is perfect. And then maintain the height as you hit the shot and try and just take the ball clean off the surface. Maintain the height and clean off the surface. This is just a mid iron, this is just an eight iron. This can be done with every iron. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click thumbs up. 
Um, as always, go and practice this. Pra if you do practice off the mat, just listen out for the strikes. Be very aware of it. Because often strikes, when we hit into the mat and we hit too deep, we don't get punished every time. Hitting off the grass, you would get punished every time. If you get the opportunity to practice off grass, do. But if you do hit off a mat, just be, I don't know, a bit more switched on. Don't be naive to the fact that the contact was either too deep or too heavy. Guys, thanks for watching. Do subscribe, click the big red button down here. Comment below, uh, is this a problem shot for you? If it is, hopefully this will fix you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.